Righto, you're probably wondering why I have Mr. Monkey Spaz in the background holding up what appears to be a Super Nintendo controller. That's because I have one myself. And this was a result of my USB knockoff crappy um, PlayStation DualShock uh, 1 finally biting the dust, me dropping it too many times. I wasn't smashing it, I promise you. I have, I've grown out of game rage now, sort of. Tekken. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, I needed a replacement and uh, saw this on eBay, uh, not eBay, Amazon, for a very, very, very good price. And I thought, you know what, take a chance on that. Because uh, I've always liked the SNES controller. I've, I've said in previous videos, it's one of my favourite controllers, along with the DualShock 2. Um, and most retro games I play don't really require the sticks, the analogue sticks. So I thought, yeah, give it a go. £7.29 pennies from the lands of the rising sun and it was surprised it got here surprisingly quick and i'm not going to show you the unboxing like james does because i've already got it out of its box there that's probably too white so you probably can't see it anyway but it's yeah i an i buffalo classic usb gamepad styled on the super nintendo slash super famicom it's very similar in form factor almost identical in fact uh yeah very well presented obviously all in Jap japanese and all that bits and pops, but it's a uh, plug and play, no software to load. It's got uh, it's got instructions in there, but they're all in Japanese, and I can't read Japanese, so you no. Know, eight buttons. And I suppose that's supposed to be like a mock up of the Nintendo seal of quality. It could be, I don't know, but it's certainly unofficial. Um, Windows Seven compatible. Uh, it works with Windows Eight as well, probably Windows Ten as well, but you never know. With Windows Ten it certainly says they're Windows Eight. And uh, yeah, for the price, it's impressive. And um, I will show you the unit itself now. Here it is. Take that in, peoples. I have a And um, it's surprisingly good quality. I'm not going to do any comparisons with what James says. Uh, just give you my own opinions. The D-pad is so similar to an official Super Nintendo D-pad. It's really, really um, tight. And responsive the buttons a little bit clicky but again very very similar to the original design as are the shoulder buttons I would imagine that the gubbins inside are pretty much the same mechanisms and the same layout as what the Super Nintendo original controller does like I said form factor is exactly the same it's lighter it's certainly a lot lighter uh, I don't know how it's probably because the plastic is a you know, yeah plastic certainly isn't of high of the high of the same quality should we say I'm saying high quality there but Nintendo's plastics aren't normally that high quality anyway to begin with but the, the plastic certainly isn't as of a quality of them so and, it, and you can feel that in its tactile feel and um, it's got a little bit of a, it's got a bit of a texture to it so it's not completely smooth so it's got a bit of a grip to it it fits nice in hand just like standard Super Nintendo controller and all the emulators I've used with it so far, it seems to work after you configured it, like any joypad or joystick. It works well. It works well with the CPC emulator. It works really well with both the SNES emulators I've got, MAME. It's really, really good. It's, it's a particularly great for the intricate D-pad movements. My, I mean, I mean that uh, DualShock clone that I had, I did find it difficult to play fighting games with it on the fact that the D-pad was, you know, reminiscent reminiscent of the um, the PlayStation D-pad but it just it just it doesn't feel right with the cross D-pad that Nintendo Nintendo have always done the best D-pads we all know that so it really does work well never found any problems with it all the buttons work fine not sure about them two buttons though because I have no use for them um, no none of the um, emulators that I use with it have any requirement for a clear button possibly maybe a turbo button it hasn't done anything so far. I've used it with about 10 emulators, um, and, it, and it works fine, uh, apart from the Spectrum one. But that's the emulator. It's fucking Spectrum. You just, they don't work properly, do they? <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. It's a good emulator if you like the keyboard. But I can't get a joystick to work on it, or a joypad. And I don't blame the joypad for that. Uh, turbo button, clear button. They might work. I'm assuming they do. But, yeah... <laughs> But uh, yeah, for form factor, usability, and you know, price, it's a good little thing. It's a good little thing. I buffalo, great name.
it's not really. And uh, yeah, got it from Japan in uh, less than two weeks, just before Christmas. So superb all round. Thank you, I Buffalo. Very good. And uh, yes, I do recommend it as a little uh, cheap alternative USB controller. So like I said, plug and play, stick it in, up your spout, it works like a joy. So yeah, it's good work. Anyway, that was just a quick little overview of this and a quick sort of little review and a little bit of a shout out to Mr. Jimbo here. Go and check him out. He's a good man. He uh, does a lot of good stuff. And don't roll, don't, kids, don't wrap your controller cords up like that because you will end up breaking them. Don't do what the bug says apart from watching my videos and subscribing. And that's a very, very cheap plug. With that, uh, see you later. Thanks for watching. Nova Bug, out.